Yummy. Yeah. Oh. Nice. Hey, hey, my name is Mel. Welcome to Lion King, and this is my channel, DB Nala, done by Nala. And this is a mental health creative safe space. But uh, I've been gone for months and months and months and months. Um, yeah, let me explain myself, where I've been, what I've been doing. So yeah, like I said, I'm super excited to just come back and I missed you guys so much. Um, I'm just excited to start. I don't know, when's the last time I seen you guys? I can't remember, but I'm back. It was, I wanna say February or March, but I'm back in time for my season, my favorite season. Um, I'm gonna paint. And I started off the spooky season with a little painting here. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like. I can't move it. Um, do you guys remember this costume? <laughs> you don't? Okay, so this is a starting horror painting of the October season. And I'm just, I'm just excited. I'm, I'm really excited. You guys know I love doing costumes. I'm gonna come back because I didn't want to miss the costumes, low key. Um, I don't even know what I should start. Um, but I just know I want to keep doing things. I want to get to work. So yeah, follow me. Follow me. So quick question. Do you guys remember this painting? The one that was like really big and I took forever to make it and I like went through it and went all back through it. I'm gonna start over here and just keep working with it. Usually I would show you the in-depth detail of things but I feel like I'm gonna do this a little differently and give you a little montage of literally me creating a few of my costumes and taking everything down. So yeah, enjoy that montage on top of the montage of the other montage. Yeah. Okay, let's go. All right, so it's okay. I got this from Amazon. Temporary silver gray ash for party. So it's like like a wax, like a hair wax thing. Oh, I got it open. It's hair color hair wax. This looks fun. Like this has got to be incorrect. I just looked these things up. I didn't know if this was right. But look at it. It's silver. It smells like deodorant. It smells like my husband's armpit. Yum. Yum. So do y'all know what I'm doing? I'm doing Nosferatu. Nosferatu. <laughs> so I have this styrofoam paper because I want to make ears because Nosferatu has like ear poking out. So I got some styrofoam and I'm going to like shape them into like ear shapes. Um, I have glue. I have Elmer's glue. I have double sided tape. Zzzz. I have zzzz. I also have craft bond. So I'm thinking like I've never made this shape before. So the ears are triangle. So maybe if I go for like a square triangle, do something where like have those come together like so. Cause like, I don't wanna get my whole ear. So before I glue it, I'm gonna measure this exactly. We'll try to measure this exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. This will be for this ear, this ear. And then it'll be like this. Yeah! I feel like the green goblin. I'm gonna spray like the corner here. Okay, y'all. So I just sat it down and let it just dry. So I got some face paint here. So I, I think I'm gonna work on my makeup. Cause like Nosferatu's like he was in a black and white, so it was like I don't want a white entire face. So, like that's a lot. I want to go for like maybe a grayish, ghoulish tint. Basically, all my stuff that I got to here today is from Amazon or the dollar store or like Walmart. So this is professional paint based painters. I don't know how to do this stuff, but this is what it is. This is what no. it came with. It's like little, it's like three little brushes. So I do know that when you have eyebrows, you have to like put makeup on it so I got some Elmer's glue I watch a lot of like videos I've never fully watched and sat down and watched a full tutorial so I'm just literally makeshifting everything I saw as far as like those little quick TikToks and they put glue on their eyebrows because <gasps> I guess like you're supposed to like put the hair down but no Fratus has eyebrows maybe I want to draw my eyebrows on myself that's what that is yeah because I have to put the makeup on top first so it is so fun Okay, I'm gonna let these dry for a second. Alright, I think this is pretty dry. 
I was trying to figure out what brush I want to use. I guess I'll use this. I don't have any like nice flat ones to like pop it down because I'm not really, because I'm not really a makeup person. Like as in like full out beat, you know what I'm saying? So I got like just like, like one of those things. Okay, so I'm going to go for like a grayish, bluish tint here. Like not quite silver. So maybe I should start with undertones. I don't know. Look at it. They have little tops. I'm just making this so hard, so much harder than it needs to be. Okay. Blue, blah, blah, blah. Wow. Okay, so maybe I should start with like white or gray all over. Maybe I'll go in with black and then come over top with white. So I'm gonna take black. Oh my God. Dang. It's not really super pigmented. I'm not really super surprised, but it does work. Oh, okay, that works. That works. It's gonna. It takes a while to get it in there, but it does work. So maybe I'm gonna go with doing the shadow of my face first. It's very black, like around the eye, so. Y'all, I didn't even read the instructions. I feel like you're supposed to like water it down or something, but. At this point, I don't know. I know it's like very dark. And now he has the eyebrows like come off and like go like that way. So. Bro, this is crazy. I'm not gonna lie. You know, like I know that's like, it's very long nose. So maybe I'll like make my nose long. It's also like, he's like very old. So maybe like a little of that, a little bit of that. Bro, this looks crazy. <laughs> Very shadowy. Gotta be shadowy up there. And he's like really old, so like definitely want to put that wrinkle in. Do you think it'd be smart if I just use my finger? Like, all jokes aside, should I just use my finger? Is that like the smartest plan of attack here? palettes and I also have a bunch of black liner and stuff so maybe this can help I'm gonna try to put some water maybe this makes it smoother I'm not sure oh it does okay so I'll just have to use water he has very furry looking brows here and they're like it's like I'm probably gonna do like my little thing where I contour like I put the color in first and then build it backwards Probably. Does this look fun? Does, does this look like it's supposed to look? Yeah, there we go. That That's something. Okay, there we go. very serious little arch in that little thing there it's like I'm working backwards I'm literally doing this like I'm working on a regular painting um okay and then I would come in trying to get like those little wrinkles okay I've, I've literally never done this before y'all and I'm just like surprised I'm trying this if I'm being honest Now I'm just kind of getting gray all over my face.
just like, yeah, it's like very wrinkly. It's very deep in there. Oh, that didn't do what I wanted it to do. Okay, it's also like, he has like a little deep little thing going on here. Oh, he has no lip. Okay, so. I didn't get my actual head yet, so let's like get up here a little. I'm probably gonna use regular paint up there, but I'm just a very grumpy man. Grumpy, grumpy man. Very fleet. Yeah. Got a little wrinkle. Wrinkle. We're like. Yeah. There. Then there's like some for the top of the lip. I gotta fix this connection because this connection doesn't go all the way down. Yeah. That stops here. I'm also gonna bring a little bit of color into there. Why well, is this giving the Grinch? You've been one. We're gonna slick these brows, girls. Oh! <laughs> I'm scaring myself. Okay. So there's a lot of crow's feet, and then there's like a little bit of that. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do some finish with Teletrips. Okay, so I'm gonna get some actual paint and just start doing this. Oh, oh excuse me, I'm sorry. I want to. I don't want to move that much because it's getting dry and crackly, and I don't want it to crack a lot of place. This is good, this is good, this is good, we good, we good. <laughs> it feels so cold. <laughs> mm. Okay, so the hair that's showing, I have this wax. I'm gonna just use the wax for it. So I don't know how thick it is, but the deodorant wax. And I'm just gonna. Oh, it's, 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 it's. It's white getting it like these little corners here because I don't want to paint my hair. The wax is waxing. 
Cause like I see, right? That this could come down if it wanted to, but it don't. So just to like, I'm gonna be back. Give me a second. Maybe I could take some saran wrap and like wrap the back of my head. I think I'll do a wrap around. Wrap around. Like. All right. Wrap it in the back of my head. I'm gonna like, just crap. I need oh oh god um I'm gonna use duct tape because it's close to my skin well not my skin well, this skin is strong and it'll keep everything together maybe I can like take some of this and just start off by securing it a little ball there and then maybe I can do something like this Okay, my idea is slowly working. I just gotta put a lot of time into it. Give me like a few seconds. Y'all let me know if you can find my ear. I only got one ear. I made another, but I forgot where I put it. I can't find my ear and I feel some type of way. I got the crumbliest cookie I'm trying to eat that I baked a while ago. It's a sugar cookie. And it's crumbly, but it's so good. Y'all, I'm so mad right now. Because I don't know where I put my ear. Oh, I found it. It was in the corner. It was weird. Okay. Let's paint these ears. Okay. This one's done. I'm going to put the other one on my other finger. All right. That one's done. And I'm going to let that dry. blow dry the ears so maybe I can like attach them that way or maybe I'm gonna have to use some of this gorilla gorilla glue like I put glue like maybe can y'all see this I'm so far okay there we go put that in there maybe that'll help I don't know I don't know what I'm doing anymore I'm winging it everything winging everything oh my god it's so cold against my ear okay Last part is I'm gonna make some teeth like it's like the little cheap ones I'll show you the links but I'm gonna go ahead and just do that and then the next part will be my finished look <laughs> yeah so that was absolutely a long ride just for one night of painting excursions is that the word excursions is I don't I don't like how that sounded Yes, watch me attempt to rip the bald cap off of my head, basically. 
it was extremely painful and it was so weird it was like sweaty it was just like ugh. so excruciating painful i'm never trying that duct tape method again but then again i know how crazy i am i'm probably gonna do it again so it's fine um i'm not really sure i feel like i'm not supposed to just use wipes to take off all that makeup so i scrubbed the mess out of my skin my skin was very dry for the next few days okay don't judge me don't judge me but yeah i just used some wipes and then eventually got some witch hazel which took me a while as well but i felt like witch hazel was good with taking off like makeup and then also it's good for your skin sometimes a little tip but yeah got it all off though um my goal to be honest is to finish this painting before my birthday in november i'm trying to gradually get back into the scene and i want to hurry and finish this painting because it's low-key bothering me again and you guys know i'm quick to just start over i know i've said i'll be back i'll be back and i haven't came back i'm back now i'm back i'm back um i've, I've been up and down life down through it in the corner whatever the case may be um but i need to get back into spirits and i have to come back to finding that creative happiness it's been very hard you guys it's been extremely hard and i just haven't been able i guess to have the time it was just definitely moments where it's kind of like i don't even know if i can make a living with this because it's not it's not doing what it's supposed to do and um but you know i'm i'm trying i'm i'm trying and um i I just need to come back and to see how it feels and get that love again and get that drive again I guess um but it's it's hard you know as, you know as creatives I like one of my fears is that I don't want to look back on life and be like man remember when I used to just create and I don't know I feel like everyone should hold on to that passion they have it's stupid or small as it may be and it's just so ironic like I get just get on people I'm like don't give up your passion but it's very easy to give up on it I'm not gonna lie it it's just when life is here I just I don't even want to say life but just circumstance and and situations and reality you just sometimes it's hard to prioritize and when I try to prioritize creating I feel bad for prioritizing it so it's just like like after this session I was just like wow I just wasted my time for a whole day to paint this when I could have been I don't know being more productive I don't know so I'm just trying to find the idea that my passion is important I guess stuff that keeps me sane is important I have to rewire my brain to say it's important and it should be happening because right now I just feel like I'm I'm, I'm going down the toilet if that makes sense um that I just want to feel like what I'm doing is important I guess everyone wants that acknowledgement everyone wants to see everyone wants to be like I see you I see what you're doing you know it's important so I just I'm trying to fix that about myself where I don't need people to say that to me or I don't know I have to be okay with things and it's very hard being okay with things I guess I don't know but um Needless to say, this has been a really good start and getting back into painting, it it felt really good. Like I've been disappearing into the art again. You know, as a, as grown people, as adults, you know, we're always on the go. We always got to make decisions. We always got to reschedule things. And sometimes it's really hard to prioritize certain things because you just feel like it's not important. And I guess I'm asking you guys who have been doing this for a while or just started, if you have any ideas on how to not to fix that but I guess hurdle that to you know kind of figure out you know what's the best way to overcome you know not being able to prioritize your passion your fuel your creativity but yeah let me know in the comments if that question makes sense I don't think that question made sense but just let me know um once again I love you guys so much like you're mad important and um if you enjoyed this video don't forget to comment like subscribe and all that good stuff and I will see you guys literally probably like in a week to be honest because I'm going to get back into the zone zone but yeah okay bye now that I've got you right where I want you oh did y'all get a crack like and subscribe <laughs> <laughs> nice